Hi, this is Mike O'Connor, Realtor O'Connor at AOL.com. My phone number is 951-847-4883. I'm in front of 7609 Elm Grove Ave in Eastvale. This is a large five bedroom, four bath home with 3,921 square feet on a lot of 6,970 square feet. I wanted to show you a little bit about the neighborhood. We are on the corner of Peach Grove and Elm. It's a quiet little neighborhood. The front of the house you can see we have an upgraded driveway with a ceramic tile stone configuration. We do have a nice uh, entry walkway here coming up to the house. There are raised uh, planter beds. I do have a concern about the planter beds in the back because uh, I didn't see any drainage. Uh, but here in the front everything looks fine. There is a nice seating area. As you come to the front you can see that we have upgraded uh, glass doors uh, with a single door entry, excuse me, glass windows single door entry into the home. As you can see here, there's a long hall straight to the back. Uh, to the left of the uh, front door is a downstairs bedroom. This bedroom is complete with its own bath. You can see it has a walk-in closet right here. And over on this side is the full bath that's attached to this room. It is a step-in shower, but it's a full size, so it could be converted to a tub quite easily. Coming back around through the house, you can note that we do have ceramic tile flooring throughout. The entire house is actually with solid surface flooring. There's no carpeting in this home. Here is the formal uh, living room area. You can see it actually has a very high ceiling through here. It also has double doors that go out to the side. I'm actually not gonna take you out there, but it's a little concrete patio area. Directly behind it is the formal uh, dining room. See it has a chandelier. The room's very uh, intimate and kind of by itself away from uh, the rest of the house. There is a butler's pantry here. You can see we have uh, mahogany colored cabinetry and black granite surfaces. Coming around, this is our entry into the kitchen from the formal uh, areas. You can see we do have five burner stove. Um, with nice tile backsplash with the black granite. Double sink with a window, looks out into the backyard. There's a dishwasher. You can also see here that there's a big island. It's got cabinetry storage on one side. Over here we have the double, or excuse me, the single oven, GE profile, very good quality with a microwave above it. Over here you can see we have a walk-in pantry. It's good size. Continuing on, we actually have right in here would be the informal eating area and then beyond is the family room. Family room features a built-in entertainment unit and a raised hearth fireplace. It's actually a long, fairly narrow room. It does have a nice uh, ceiling fan. I'm going to bring you out into the backyard. Uh, the backyard is all uh, either concrete patio or planter beds, so it's very low maintenance. I am, uh, as I said earlier, concerned about these planter beds. I didn't see any obvious uh, holes for letting out water, and it is elevated and against the home. And the inspector should uh, take a careful look at that. You can see we have uh, stamped concrete that goes all the way through this side. We do have raised planter beds at the back of the house. I'm not concerned about those. We do have block wall on these two sides. The one side does have just wood. And then here is something very special. If Fido is like a member of your family, this is the doghouse for Fido. It does need some sheetrock put inside, but Fido actually has his own air conditioner unit, his own windows for light, his own little doggy door, his ceramic floor, and he's decided he's going to chew on some of this drywall. But I've never seen a, a doggy house like this uh, in the past ever. And then here is that side yard I showed you before we came out from the uh, formal living room there. We do have dual uh, AC units, which is not uncommon for a house this size in Eastvale. It's very handy to be able to just cool upstairs and leave downstairs alone or um, vice versa. So coming back through the house, I'm going to bring you over here. This is our access point into first a downstairs hall bath, half bath, 
does have some nice storage over there. We enter into the garage through the laundry room. You can see that we do have a sink and room for our two uh, appliances. And behind the door was a little bit of storage, so you actually have plenty of space there. This garage is quite large. As you can see, the um, flooring is continued with the ceramic stone pattern. It is uh, billed as a three-car garage, but it feels much larger. Um, it, very easily for three, and I think you could fit four or five cars in this garage if not wanted. So there's you know, definitely bonus area back here. This is a very good sized garage. The water heater is here in the garage, which is our typical configuration in East Vale. So coming back through the house, I'm going to bring you upstairs. You can see here we actually do have a hard surface uh, staircase. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this material is, but it is very solid feel. A uh, little bit sl slippery, but you can see we've brought the dark pattern in with the uh, lighter colored flooring that comes up here. When we come up to the top of the stairs to our left, it's a large bonus room. As you can see, it's ceramic tile throughout. The second of our bedrooms, the first one upstairs, is off here, kind of by itself. It features what looks like a pergo flooring. and has a good size walk-in closet. Coming through the bonus room, I want to show you there's a good size closet over here. Plenty of space for all your upstairs stuff that you want to store away, but handy to the bonus room. Here's our third bedroom on the opposite side of the uh, bonus room. As you can see, this one also features the uh, Pergo style flooring, and it also has a walk-in closet. Coming back around, we have our shared common bath. We have a double vanity and a separate room with a shower and the toilet and a window. We have some cabinetry along here, which is great for linens and other storage. Here's bedroom number four. So there are three bedrooms up here that would share that bath we just saw. It features a large wall of closets with mirror closet doors on them. And then off by itself down this other wing is the master bedroom. There is some cabinetry here for storage. Here in the master you can see that we have a coffered ceiling. We have some small windows on the wall where you would probably put the bed. There is another window that looks out into the backyard. Then there's a wing here, which is where the bathroom is, and the closets. We have closets on each side of this hallway. Both walk in. Both approximately the same size. So maybe not too much fighting over who gets which. There's a small storage area here. I've actually seen this done in models with the coffee station. As we come into the bath itself, we have a vanity area, we have separate sinks, lots of storage cabinets underneath. Over here we have a lot of corner windows, and we have a nice large jetted tub. These are really nice on a long day to relax and unwind, and we have a stand-up separate shower. And then the toilet room with its own window and door. So again, my name is Mike O'Connor. Realtor O'Connor at AOL.com. My phone number is 951-847-4883. Let me know if you have any interest in this great Eastvale home on, on Elm.